Christmas and America, Williamsburg, Virginia, Christmas Day, 1774. Eleanor woke with a start. The rapid musket fire in her ears was rattling the windows and causing her heart to pound. Seconds later, it registered. Today was Christmas Day. A smile spread across her face and she leaned her head back against the pillow with a sigh of relief. The shots she heard were just the local men welcoming this special day and the beginning of the 12 days of Christmas. Donning her many petticoats, Eleanor then pulled her best dress over her head. Aunt Martha had promised Christmas Day here in Williamsburg would be special. Dashing out the door, Eleanor paused before setting foot on the staircase. She remembered she must act like the lady of 15 that she was. Slowly, she descended the stairs, admiring the carved flowers adorning the intricate woodwork and pretending she was the English governor's daughter about to receive visitors below. A boy with tussled brown hair flew by the staircase. Josiah, hissed Eleanor, slow down. This isn't the country, boy. Mind your manners. Josiah slowed enough for Eleanor to catch up with him. As they approached the dining room, William, one of the household slaves, opened the door with a grin. Inside sat Aunt Martha at the polished oval table with Uncle Isaac and great Uncle Thomas. Come and sit down, my dear, she called, motioning them to the two chairs on either side of her. Eleanor and Josiah took their seats at the table and bowed their heads as great Uncle Thomas offered the morning prayer. When the children opened their eyes, they spied candy at the top of their places. Eleanor stifled a squeal of delight, but Josiah made his pleasure known loud and clear. Well, it is Christmas after all, said great Uncle Thomas. Your Aunt Martha thought you would enjoy a little treat. Eleanor's eyes shone. She'd never received anything special on Christmas before. Christmas in the colony of Virginia was an entirely different picture from what took place in the northern colonies. Following the example of the Puritans in 17th century England, Christmas had been illegal for many years in places like the Massachusetts Bay Colony. As the colonies grew and the population expanded to include immigrants from other religious groups and countries, so the views of Christmas changed and expanded. It truly was a time in which Christmas might be celebrated or not in 100 different ways throughout the New World.